Hi and welcome to a unboxing and kit review uh, by Kiwi Gav. Uh, this kit today is the Tamiya Toyota GT1 TS020. It's a Le Mans car that we raced around 1999 onwards, 2000. Um, now this kit, uh, according to Scumates, was initially released in 2000. It's been reboxed. A few times since then and it's had a clear view version as well um, what else can I tell you about the the car itself um, the car itself is uh, the chassis was a carbon fiber uh, an aluminium honeycomb monocoque and uh, suspension double wishbone pushrod system front and rear uh, it ran a Toyota 3.6 litre 90 degree V8 twin turbo mid mountain mid-mounted sorry engine um, a very cool looking car as you can see um, great box art on this uh, new box art um, they ran Michelin tires ESO fuel um, so yeah it sort of first ran in the 1998 Le Mans and there's been a few notable drivers out there so you can check that out all online the kit itself as I said this particular box art is very cool. I like this version of the black box art they're doing at the moment by Tamiya. It uh, shows an artist pression of the engine area. It shows you sprue layout on there. And I'll flip around and you can pause and read if you like. We have uh, more artwork. The TS49, TS26, X1. Black X18 semi gloss black, some paint call outs there to keep you on track. There we go a bit more. The kit number is 24222. It's got star 2300. And we've got 222 there. Some more great box out there. Uh, the kit's overall length is 202 millimeters, overall width 84 millimeters. So we'll open up. I've had a look, but I haven't opened any bags as yet, so we'll take a quick look at that. Okay. First thing we'll look at is the clear screw. I'll leave this in the bag because I want to keep it protected. Okay. One thing, just a small bit of glass for the cockpit. Some lights. And that'll be the front light shields, I would say. Very cool. Pretty straightforward. There's, um, as far as the glass goes on these Le Mans kits, it's quite limited being a race car. Okay, and here we have two sprues together, which don't really like. Don't really like the staples. But... Okay, if we pull those out. Okay. First sprue, this is sprue A. Okay, and here we have our brake calipers molded to the brake discs there. Still quite good detail. Um, here is a photo etch detail set available, which I will probably get. Here we also have your race dash, um, some body parts, little tank there which goes inside the cockpit racing seat some parts of the extra parts of the body tow ring molded quite nicely um, the mounting points are not bad areas um, on the brake calipers there just a bit of sanding but it's fine on the curve parts Glad to see it's not amongst the uh, ribbings there, so I can sand it off easily there without really affecting that detail, which is uh, good. So they're starting to think about where they place everything, so that's good. And uh, yeah, one thing I've noticed, even their contact points now are towards the back on the side, so it's not completely the whole side, and it makes it easier for cleanup as well. 
very nice part A. Got the chrome tree here, which is B. And one thing very noticeable, they've really toned down the chrome plating to the point where it's in scale, I think, and just with a bit of detail work and maybe some heat standing on the exhaust, I don't think you need to strip that off. Obviously, the where the points contact, if you can cover that up or if it's not visible, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, the top of that engine, that there is normally carbon fibre, so that'll be covered in a carbon fibre decal. But down through here, I think that could stay as kit part chrome. It's not bad. So they really toned it down so it's not out of scale like it used to be. Um, you're quite welcome to strip off the chrome and use products like Alclad or something and such, AK Extreme Metals. Um, we'll see how I go, but I may not need to. It looks very nice. Next up, we've got a big sprue, a very big sprue. Okay, this is sprue C. So in here, we have the chassis, cockpit wheels, wing, front uh, splitter, engine, suspension arms, Parts of the door, I would say, steering wheel, suspension, which is molded springs, but that's quite a good detail. A little bit of careful painting, I think you can get away with just using those. Um, could detail that up, I suppose, I'm not sure what's out there. But those wheels do look pretty cool. Very nice indeed. Flash, um, which I've mentioned on the other sprues, but no flash as, as quality Tamiya usually is. I mean, you get that variation, I don't know if you can see it in the light, in that sheet mould there, but it's visible, but to feel it's not there. So once it's painted and primed, it might be okay. You'll be able to tell once you've primed it. But uh, it's quite a big sprue. Tires, we'll take one out and have a quick look. There's some nice rubber slicks. Bit of a seam line down the middle. Whether you can be worried about sanding that bit, it's entirely up to you, but very nice, pretty pretty basic, no tread obviously is a racing tire. And also in there we have got a little uh, wheel grommets, whatever you want to call them. Put the wheels on. Okay, the shell. And here we obviously have got the tyre sponsor name transfers as well. Let's see if we pull it out. Have a look at that now. Okay, the body, two part, rear curl, obviously the front body, mould together. And the inside here, you have detail which is on the real machine. It is carbon fibre, so you could really make that look really cool. Some nice, maybe two-tone decals, one colour and another. There's a couple of uh, injector pin marks, which you need to take care of if you want to display that. But, uh, couple on the inside there so it's probably just those you've got to worry about there's one two three four they're in a couple of difficult places five six seven eight 
There's eight there, nine, ten. So two little ones at the back. So a bit of work there. Some on the inside of the body, the front part of the body there, but they're not going to be seen. They're going to be put down on the so that way up. Seam lines. Don't think. Didn't see anything. No. So there, it's a nice looking machine. Quite delicate there. Once you remove those, just going to be careful of that piece there. That could you could easily break that. No, me, I probably will. So I have to be careful. Some very thin parts here to be careful of. So when handling it, caution. As I said, it's your Tamiya Michelin tire rub-on transfers. Quite a nice system. Looks quite realistic when you get them on. Um, they're not too hard to do. You just got to follow the kit instructions really on how to put these on. I've only done it once and it come off really well so no it's not that hard okay Bunch of details themselves where have we got first off we got uh, some Michelin Here's a bits and pieces here, numbers, seatbelt decals, and that one. Carefully take this out. Masking transfer, masking template, I should say, for the white part on the nose, a couple of other parts on the kit. Masking seal, so it's cool. So you can be able to cut out the shape. And here's our big sheet. Nice uh, decals, these. Everything is in register. So there's the carrier film is. Pretty room is a little better. A mill outside, what if that? So, it doesn't look too bad. So, using your decaling solutions, you can take care of those quite nice. Uh, looking good. Not sure, we have to have a look at the instructions. We've got two. Different, uh, the two Adam Motorsport ones there. That may be two different versions, so we'll check that out. So we'll carefully look after that. Put those back away, which I'll do later on. Okay, finally, can I find it? I'll get it out. The instructions. Okay, so here's your instructions. Here's a little bit about Le Mans, its debut. Uh, so yeah, 24 hour event. Typical Tamiya tool suggestions, paint call out and Tamiya colors. So your body color, TS26 pure white and TS49 bright red. Um, and then we go through now, there is one thing I've noticed on this. Most parts of the kit where it calls out for X18, which is semi gloss black, on the actual Toyota itself, they are carbon fiber. So, you, where you got X18, you could put carbon fiber. And the other thing is, in the paint call out, it doesn't actually have listed here X18. Which is quite an interesting one. So yeah, be aware of that. But uh, X18 semi gloss black if you're painting, or most of those parts that are X18 
a carbon fibre. Um, most of them I should say, not all, but most. So if you've got some good reference pictures, there's a good walk around set of pictures, you can go to Scale Mates. And down the bottom there's a link to some really good quality images. So we go through the suspension around the engine, cooling system, it is exhaust, then we go on to the uh, monocoque assembly, brakes, front arms, splitter, still in the cockpit itself, seats, console, attaching uh, the engine and the cockpit and splitter to the main part of the body and then we start working on the shell all the different parts of the shell whether they need to be painted separately or attached and painted I'm not sure we shall find out so around here we've got Attaching the glass, so those two different what shade uh, decals. You got two different car numbers you can choose from. So that's what that was for. Intake ducts there. I've got the wheels and the rear cowling on the inside. A bit of detail to do there. Here it tells you a little bit about how to uh, make your own antennas out of uh, bits of sprue heated up, um, which is quite cool. I've had a go, it um, takes a bit of practice, but if you've got plenty of sprue lying around, it should be a problem. Then we've got attaching the wheels and then the rear cowling. We've got a little bit about all your decals placement there. That's pretty much it. Now on the note of making the antennas out of uh, stretch sprue, I have never seen this before, but uh, it tells you on heating extending sprue, make sure to heat sprue with the PS marking, um, which is your polystyrene, as other sprues may generate poisonous gas if heated. So something good to know. Um, just be careful, it is, um, if you're young, get someone a little bit uh, older to uh, help you out with that. But uh, just with a bit of being careful, you can stretch out some nice antennas and for other models as well. So, multiple languages there. So yeah, so that is the uh, Toyota GT1 by Tamiya. Um, I might not have mentioned it before, but it's 124 scale, and uh, looking forward to build this one. Um, hope I fit this into the uh, international scale modeler's uh, wheels uh, sig. Be my second entry if I can get this one in completed, and uh, really looking forward to it. Never built a kit of this type or genre, car genre before, and. Uh, comes out nice I might get some more Le Mans style cars so uh, that's it from Kiwi Gav and uh, look forward to my next uh, video update which will hopefully be on this um, but uh, any other videos just remember to uh, check the subscribe button click the uh, little bell there for notifications and you'll get notified when I've uploaded a new video and uh, keep in touch, make comments, um, what you'd like to see me do or do a review on or build, I might be able to help uh, and uh, any questions obviously so. So until next time, that's Bo from Kiwi Gavin New Zealand and uh, have a great day, cheers.